Sid Caesar. Is the story of a kid he couldn't win, he had to lose. It's a tale that's as stale as the wail of the blues. But it made the daily headlines of the mirror and the news. The story of my miserable life. If you're near Columbus Circle, then you just direct your feet to the downtown subway station right on 57th Street. You walk down the steps, and the first one that you meet is the turnstile. He's a friend of mine. So he's getting pushed around for a measly dime. Soon you come to Fairbanks, the weighing machine. He's another friend of mine. So he's telling the truth and always getting stepped on. Well, you take a few more steps, you come to me. I'm the penny chewing gum machine. I'm a very honest, very sincere, very polite chewing gum machine. And I stand there in the subway, right up against the wall, all day and all night. And I keep saying, Come, sir. Come, ma'am. Come, ma'am. Come, sir. Come, ma'am. Come, sir. Come, ma'am. Come, ma'am. Yes, from what kind? Juicy fruit? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Call again. Come. Come, sir. Come, ma'am. Come. Come, sir. Come. Come, sir. Yes, sir. What kind? Spearmint? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Call again. Come. Come, sir. Come, ma'am. Come. Come, sir. Come, ma'am. Come. Come. Oh, what's the matter, kid? You haven't got a penny? Just a second. Go ahead, kid. Take <laughs> So long. Come. Come, sir. Come, ma'am. Come, ma'am. Come, sir. Come. Come. Oh, boy. Here come the guys to fill me up. Gee, and just in time, I'm empty. Hey, fellas. Hey, fellas, I'm over here. Haven't got any gum. Will you please come on, fill me up now? I'm empty. <laughs> hey, fellas, I'm over here. I haven't got any gum. Will you please come on, fill me up now? I'm empty. <laughs> Holy smoke, here comes a customer. Hey, fellas. Hey, fellas, I got a customer coming. I haven't got any gum. Will you please come on, fill me up? No, please, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm going to tell you I haven't got any gum. So please don't give me the penny. No, I'll tell you honestly, I haven't got any gum. So why give me the penny? I'll tell you I haven't got any gum. No, please don't give me the penny. I'll tell you I haven't got no, I won't take the penny. I'll tell you I haven't got any gum. Are you going to give me the penny? I'll tell you I haven't got any I'll tell you I haven't got any gum. He gave me the penny. I haven't got any gum. What am I going to do? Hey, fellas! I know. The only honest thing to do. I'll give him his penny back. There you are, sir. There's your penny back. No, please, don't give me the penny. I told you, I haven't got any gum. What are you going to give me the penny? <laughs> he hit me. <laughs> Gee, what for? I didn't do nothing wrong. I just tried to give him his penny back. He beats me up. How do you like that? Well, I'm through being a sucker. Sure, you turn style, you can stand and get pushed around. You, Fairbanks, you can get stepped on, but not me. I'm finished. From now on, I'll give them the same date they give me. Sure, why not? Doesn't pay off, to be honest, anymore. Well, here they come to fill me up. You're a little late, don't you think? <laughs> Take it easy back there. <laughs> and don't mix the spearmint with the juicy fruit like you did before. <laughs> so long. Be honest and polite. Give them that penny back. I'll show them. Hey, over there, you want gum there? What do you say there, boy? What do you want? <laughs> Hey, you there with the big hat. You want gum your way? Gum, sure, what kind you want? Juicy fruit? Sure. <laughs> no gum? Sue me. <laughs> so long, sir. That's the way it went on. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Plenty of pennies. But not one stick of gum. <laughs> and finally, one day, the big boys came down and they opened me up. And they saw all those pennies and not one stick of gum missing. They said, hey, this kid's got talent. <laughs> We're wasting him on this penny ante stuff. Send him a pound. Make him a slot machine. A quarter slot machine. So there I was, in the big gambling palace. My shiny chrome front, my cherries, my bells, my plums, in lots of lemons. Ah, this is the life. Nice, easy work. Don't get pushed around. Oh, hello, kid. You're the new nickel machine, eh? How do you do? Glad to have you with us. What's that? How do you get to be a quarter machine? Psychology. 
Gotta know your customers. Want to pay you off or not to pay you off? Watch, I'll show you. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you. Come here. Come here. Watch this. Look, I wouldn't do this for anybody else. But you look like a nice guy. I like you. Saw you when you came in. Said right away, nice fella. So I'm going to give you a little tip. I'm loaded. I got to pay off. I can't hold it any longer. Get your change over there. You watching, kid? Take notes. Shall we? Surely, sir. Come on, try it again. It's a game of chance, skill, sportsmanship. Hey, what? Nah. <laughs> now I... Well, so long. <laughs> He'll be back. Back so soon? Try it again? Surely, sir. I couldn't help it. The boss was looking. You know I can't pay off when the boss is looking. Watch me give this guy a fair shuffle. Hey, buddy, look. The boss is not looking, and there's three bells coming up. Look, who should know better? I'm the... <laughs> Holy smokes. It's a raid. Here are the cops. Oh, no. No, please, cop, don't hit me with the axe, eh? No, please, cop, don't hit me with the axe, eh? No. No. No, no, don't. 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 <laughs> that was a good kid. I just got on the wrong track, that's all. That's the story of my life, and it's no story for the screen. It will wind up in the basket of True Story magazine. But I hope it teaches people never to be mean to a penny chewing.